Hello, 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 hello everyone. I hope you are doing well. My name is Sayam and welcome back to the channel, right? Today, we're going to solve this beautiful problem. Paths in a matrix whose sum is divisible by k. Okay, this is actually not a very hard problem, but it is manifested as a hard problem. It is written how hard. We'll skip it. No, it is actually a medium problem. And if it is, if you have solved many problems, this is actually an easy problem. So I would say, I would rate this problem a medium, easy, easy medium, sorry. And trust me, it is a really easy problem. Be with me till the end. You will be able to solve this problem very intuitively. With that note, let's get started with the video then. Okay, you're given a zero index m cross an integer matrix, correct? And an integer k, as always, hamesha pan ko milta hai. You're currently at position 0, 0 and want to reach. Padte hi, what come to your mind? Oh, great, it is there. Something either DP, either recursion. You should think of these when you read these problems. Moving down or right? Definitely. Okay, you are just going down or going right. Now the chances of recursion is less. Now the ch chances of DP becomes more. Only when you have to go to right or down. Right. Return the number of paths where the sum of the elements on the path is divisible by k. Okay. Since the answer may be very large, return modulo 10 power minus 9 plus 7. What does that mean? Obviously, there could be multiple paths. Right. There is a grid. M cross N grids. You have you have to return the paths modulo 10 power minus plus 7 means obviously in brute force we cannot do that definitely definitely it is not recursion it's a dp problem when i read this problem i got an intuition okay because there are only two paths available and then you have to go right then you have to go down so you have to think about it right cool. after reading this what this says you have to return the number of paths where the sum of the elements is divisible by k Hmm. hmm. After seeing this, firstly I have to go to the constraints, right? I have to go to the constraints. Ki constraints kya rahe hai? So constraint is saying to me is m n k I should be concerned with. Okay. And the sum of elements also. Sum of elements also. Ab mujhe chahiye kya? I want that number of paths where I will reach till n and my the sum of the path uh, the values module k okay, should be zero. Fine. Fine, fine. So, after seeing this, what dates come to your mind? Because obviously, it's a DP problem. You have to reach till n. And we see the constraints. So, m, n to m into n, 10 power 5 hoga. Ye apan ko aise hi pata hai. Right? So, koi dikkati nahi hai. But jo k hai, if it is large, then there is a problem. Then there is a problem. But k is 50 here. That gives a hint that our time complexity, m into n into k, will work will work will work pan ko to sum chahiye we have to reach sum till end ki sum jo hai wo divisible by k hona chahiye to what should we maintain either sum or something else agar tumne sum maintain kiya it won't be suffice right because i already told you when you're making the dp states right always remember that before check that that while making set whether it fits in your time complexity or not see m into n obviously fits you have to do something like that which should be small k could fit but some would, won't fit because some to large ho jayega. Hmm. So, kya somehow k se apne apne state ko represent kar sakte hain kya? But brute force mein to apne sochenge ki yaar nahi k se kaise kar payenge represent. We can able to represent only because we need the sum, right? But wait a second. That's what the modulo property comes into the picture. That you don't need to maintain the whole sum. You can maintain your sum modulo k. And that's what we're doing from the last three four videos, right? Because apna jo sum modulo k hai that that is an important parameter. That would change everything. So, agar iska maximum value kya ho sakta hai? Maximum k minus 1 ho sakta hai. That means what? Ki apna jo third state hai, ho okay, tak apna kaam chal jayega. Bilkul sahi baat hai. Bilkul sahi baat hai. So, apna ne kya bola? Apna ne kya bola? What I gonna do is, I am at standing at i comma j. I can go to what? i j plus 1. Or, or I can go to i plus 1 j. Okay. Okay. Whether I can pick I, I can go right because I have to. There's no pick, no pick. This is count wala method. Either you have to go right, either you have to go down. Either you have to go down, right? And what you gonna do? You gonna sum the paths from this recursive tree and sum the paths from the, this recursive tree and then return from both. Return right plus down. That is the basic intuition. We just know that, right? Ab now, how to write the transitions? How to write the transitions? It's very simple, right? So we have maintained three states. What we maintain? We maintain i, 
we maintain j and the sum modulo k so i am just representing that with the sum itself so sum three states we are now if you go right what will happen tell me oh it's very simple i j plus 1 and our sum obviously we have included that sum plus current element whatever it's like grid of i j and then what we going to do we going to do a modulo k that is same in both the states and if we go down that's very simple again i plus 1 j and this part again remains same because this won't change because we have picked the current element right that won't change okay we understood these things now let's try to think of the base cases now very very important the base cases are very very important so firstly if you go out of index then the job is done we cannot do anything if i equals to equals to n or or j equal to equal to m what we have to do there does not exist any path right we have to return a zero see this is a path counting problem so when you at at the base case you have to return either zero either one one means it's a valid path zero means it's a non valid path so we have to return a zero fine what could be another base case now very very important ki if you reach i equals to n minus 1 and j uh, uh, and and j equals to m minus 1 you don't need to return directly one you have to think first pause and think should you write directly that thing or what should you do firstly you have to include this element take the modulo and it should be zero then only you have to return one. that means what if sum what currently you modulo you have plus current grid of whatever is n minus 1 m minus 1 you can say ij also that is both are fine modulo k should be equals to equals to zero then only you will return a one right because then only the modulo k is divisible by k right otherwise you have to return a zero that is perfect that is perfect we we, we understood this so finally what what we have to do let me just summarize what we have did so maintain three states i j and sum maintain we wrote the transitions we wrote the transition either right or either go down and the total answer total answer is what right plus down plus down and we just return the answer that's all isn't it it's a very easy problem it is right it is right let me just quickly show you an example as well so if you are at 5 if you are at 5 you have two option either you go to right either you go to down right and then what you going to do from here itself now you don't need you have to take this and you have to take a modulo k3 so you don't need to maintain 7 at here you have to maintain this modulo 3 which is equals to 1 now 1 you go to 4 here so what you do plus 4 so you do a modulo 2 so here the modulo is 2 here what you do you maintain 2 plus 7 now again the modulo is 1 here and now you come to here and plus 2 do there 3 modulo 3 0 that's why this path is valid if you can check other paths this is also a valid path is available you just need to do a this is a recursion this is a recursion but how we are memorizing that with the help of the state side right? because this is a repeating sub problems repeating sub problems see always all not all problems are not solvable with the dp repeated sub problem. actually we wrote a recursive code but how to memorize that that is a interesting thing so we me memorize that with the cache states of i J and the modulo part sum. That is the idea. Let me just quickly show you the code. It's very simple. So what we did, we did a solve function. So write i, j, and sum, and a grid, and a k, and obviously a dp thing. So firstly, let me just quickly show you the base case. I n equals to n minus one. N minus one. If sum, well, we modified the sum, and then if sum equals to zero, means what? The modulo k is zero, right? Then we return a one. Otherwise, you return a zero. And these are the out of boundary cases. out of boundary cases so this is a out of boundary cases and finally this is what right down and then we finally return the sum of them because we have to calculate from all the path this is path counting it's not max min it's a path counting problem and then we made a 3d dp uh, of maintaining three states that's i j and k and this we return that so i hope you understood the solution and yeah If you like the solution, make sure you to subscribe to the channel because we are we make more or such or such exciting videos. We'll see you in the next video then. Keep the keep learning and goodbye.